I've been in Vietnam for two months now, and I thought I'd make a short vlog talking about some of the adventures and misadventures I've had so far. Now, I'm not an expert traveler, so if you're looking for a video like that, this is not it. This is my own personal thoughts, and I wanted to make something that is more of a memento for myself that I can look back on in the future and maybe cringe at. These are just my thoughts on what it's been like for me in Vietnam so far. One thing that people told me before I came was to not bring your Western or American expectations about things, and that is probably pretty good advice. Um, it's different. It's not better or worse, it's just going to be different. It's easier to just accept that right away. Um, and not be overwhelmed by the differences, I guess. So far, I really haven't felt any culture shock. Um, I kind of was anticipating more. It really hasn't been that overly intense for me, and I've really enjoyed most of my experiences so far. One thing I did learn quite early is that construction can take place anywhere, anytime. They are redoing the road. And it's four in the morning. So earplugs are useful. Ho Chi Minh City is not a quiet city. Even the other night, uh, I was trying to sleep at about one in the morning. My neighbors above me at the Airbnb um, started making some noise on the bed and you know, it, 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 that's gonna happen. Earplugs are nice. Also, when I first arrived, one of the main things that I noticed right away was the traffic. It is very different than what I'm used to back in the US. Obviously, it's a lot more bikes here than, than cars. And besides that, the way the traffic flows was very confusing to me at first. I didn't realize how this was going. Every bike's going in and out. If you see any roundabouts, it just looks like complete chaos. And I've tried to ride a bike once. Um, it hasn't gone well yet. So I have not ridden a uh, motorbike yet here in Vietnam, but I'm gonna try this today with my friend Michael. And he gave me a whole 30 second uh, instruction on how to do this. So that's all you need. That's all I need. See what happens. Let's start going now. Here I go. Oh. Ooh, shit. What do you right. think? I'm ready to go on the major roads now. Oh, okay. A couple apps that you'll want to have before you can come here are Grab and Gojek. I pretty much only use Grab. You can rent a bike to go halfway across the city for a dollar or two. Uh, um, it's very cheap, very affordable, and it's pretty easy. Just as long as you're not too scared to, uh, to get on a bike. One other thing that I will point out is I spent some time in Bangkok, and they have Grab there as well. They will not give you helmets in Bangkok, at least from my experience on the couple Grab bikes I had. But every Grab bike I've had here in Vietnam uh, has given me a helmet, so just something to keep in mind. Also, like the US, they drive on the right side of the road here most of the time. Sometimes if you're on a bike, uh, this happened to me a couple times, I'll get on a bike and he'll motion, I'm gonna go this way, and I'm like, okay, I didn't realize what he was saying. He immediately goes against traffic just to get to the road that you want to. And most other bikes will just get out of your way. Um, you kind of have to weave your way through it, but yeah, I haven't seen too many accidents yet. Um, so, so far, so good. Most of my time in the first couple months here, I've been traveling around and staying at a place for a week or two and then moving to a different part of Ho Chi Minh City. So I started in Bin Tan, just north of District 1, and I really liked that area. There was a lot of good street food along Dien Bien Phu, and I kind of got used to that. Then I moved to Tao Dien, which is in District 2. Tao Dien is more of the expat, foreigner area, I guess, so there's a lot more Westerners. You'll, you'll see a lot more of them there, and a lot more Western kind of restaurants. It's a little more expensive, really not that much more expensive from my experience. It was an interesting area, and I think I'd like to visit that kind of area more, but I wasn't too set on living there. After Tao Dien, I moved to District 1 for a week, where I stayed right off of Bue Bien. This is the backpacker area, and it can be fun, for some people, maybe I would have enjoyed it more 10 years ago, but it is loud. I swear it is way louder than they allow in the US. The entire street is just bars and clubs playing loud music. When you're living off the street like I was, you could hear the bass shaking the room. So I had the fan, the air conditioning going all the time just to try to drown out some noise. The people that were hosting the Airbnb were very friendly, but I think I'm okay not living near Buevian again. After that, I actually spent some time in Hanoi. Uh, I stayed at a hostel there. I enjoyed a lot of Hanoi, but there was a lot of smog there when I was there, and 
to me, that was a kind of a factor. But I really enjoyed the people and the food there as well. Hanoi, I think, is worth visiting again. Hopefully, the next time I do, the air will be a little cleaner. I spent some time in Bangkok where I made a video with my friend Ariana, and I am planning on going back sometime in the near future. Hopefully, we'll make some more videos there. Uh, I really enjoyed Bangkok, but if you want to get around, it's a lot easier with uh, actual public transit there. I don't know as much about Bangkok. I was only there for less than a week, so I think in the near future, I'll, I'll talk about it more once I actually experience it more. I will be back in Thailand in a few weeks, but I'm actually going to be in Phuket, so let me know also if you have recommendations for Phuket. I am back in Ho Chi Minh City now, and I'm staying in Phu Nuan. I was here during Tet, very slow, very boring, um, but more things have kind of opened up and I've been exploring this area more. I think out of all the places that I've lived, I kind of like this one the best, except for the, you know, the, the people above me making noise at one in the morning. Otherwise, this is a pretty good Airbnb. I have been trying to be more adventurous with street food. Sometimes it doesn't always sit well with my stomach, so I actually have what's called Yakult. This has been really useful <laughs> in terms of saving my stomach if it needs to be saved. There's been a couple days where I think, oh, something I ate isn't quite sitting well, but I actually haven't had any food poisoning or any serious issues. And if you really do need like Western food options, there is plenty of fast food. I just did a video about uh, KFC, Texas chicken, and Popeyes. So you, if you want to see what that's like, check that out. I'll post it up there, I guess. And there are definitely days where I want Pizza Hut and that's fine if you need to do that sometimes. You can. I guess the last thing I would mention right now is that it's useful to learn at least a couple words in the language of wherever you're staying. So I've tried to learn a couple of Vietnamese words, horribly mispronounced them, which I've been called out on. Nam Kong Mayo, right? Nam, Nam is here, Gong. Nam Gong? Gong Mayo. Nam Gong Mayo. I come here. Okay. So we've reached the end of Win Wei here. Um, year of the Cat, Happy New Year, and Chuk Mung Numoi. Namoi. Chuk Mang Namoy. Okay. 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 All night. right. All right. Happy New Year. But even still, it's helpful to know just some numbers, some greetings, um, thank you, all these basic things. Even just learning a few basic phrases goes a long way, so I think it's worth doing. These are just a couple thoughts after only two months. Um, again, I'm no expert, uh, and maybe a month from now I'll look back and think, wow, all of those were wrong, or I should have said this, or something like that. That's fine. This is only uh, this is only a moment in time. So I'll be doing some more videos in the near future, some more adventures with some familiar and new faces. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it, and we'll see you next time.